Gang-related crime, uh, crime and violence in San Diego is skyrocketing this year by a large margin compared to the year, year prior. Here now to discuss the ongoing issue is San Diego County District Attorney Summer Stephan. DA Stephan, long time, no talk. How you doing? Good morning, Paul. Very well. How are you? I am well, but I'm uh, discouraged by the numbers you're about to quote to me. This is a, a real fight for us in San Diego. We are seeing a tremendous rise in gang crimes and associated with it, uh, gangs using ghost guns, untraceable guns, which uh, makes the investigations more challenging. Ex but explain why that is. Together. Why, why, why do the ghost guns make it more challenging? Well, because they don't have a serial number. They're essentially untraceable. Um, and so being able to link one crime scene to another is part of the investigation that police does um, and our office uses in our prosecution. So, so that is a challenge. And, you know, we put all of these protections in place for folks without felony records to, to not have guns. Well, now you've got uh, felony record people being able to get these kits that are kind of handmade guns that can kill, but they're not traceable. So uh, is this number right? In a, gang shootings are up 129% over the same period a year ago? That is right. And, uh, you know, fortunately, some of the victims of the shooting survived, but then uh, seven of these incidents resulted in, in murder and in, in homicide. So people lost their lives and we're currently prosecuting a case where two innocent people were killed, you know, that were just caught in the crossfire of gang rivalry. And this is why this is a priority. We, we're just simply not going to allow San Diego to become a place where gangs thrive and communities are harmed. So how does that fly in the face of uh, people who want to have... Uh, uh, I don't know. I, I don't want to say defund the police, but you know, police practices are being being examined and tr less confrontation between police and potential suspects. The, the prison policies. How much do those things factor into this rise in gang violence? Well, we have to think that multiple factors, including the early release of uh, many uh, serious felons and violent felons from. Prisons are happening. They're being released on our street. Um, there, there's really no plan. We're, we're given very little notice to advise victims of those releases, and they're continually doing that. So we've got, you know, the shot callers that were in prison now are out and and helping to direct uh, this gang activity. In addition to young kids not being in school and sports for a long time and gang membership going up. So there are multiple factors that are playing in here and it is uh, it is something that we are gonna have to attack and are attacking on all fronts, being able to bring justice to these two innocent victims that were killed it is a start, We but we wanna stop it before it happens because these families will suffer for a lifetime. Yes, uh, I, I hear you, and I, I, you know, I don't envy your task because it seems like a the, it's a growing problem. Well, if if you we're going to do it together, Paul, with we have the excellent law enforcement, we have task forces that address um, violent crime. We're working together, and we're we're gonna we're gonna make this stop and have San Diego be the safest urban county in America. Yeah, because I, I know you wanna get people out of prison and uh, I get the that progressive approach, but if you're a victim of this gang violence, you're perhaps not as sympathetic. Well, this is not a progressive approach. This is an approach that is hurting communities. We're talking about, these aren't just low level felons. These are the releases include a violent and serious felons. Um, there's got to be uh, common sense and reason. We want to give people second chances. We do that every day for low level offenses. But when you're using ghost guns and shooting people, uh, we have to draw a line. DA Summer Stephan, thank you very much for making time for KUSI. Once again, I wish you a safe day. Thank you.